morning uh, today we are going to start our next topic speed time graph uh, in our uh, previous video lecture we studied distance time graph if you have understood the concept of distance time graph clearly then you will not feel any difficulty to understand this only what you have to change the one term here in place of distance now you will write speed and time is the same in the previous video you have studied distance time graph here you will study speed time graph and you can define speed time graph clearly it is the basically the graph which shows relationship between speed and time clearly there are two physical quantities speed and time so that's why the graph which shows the relationship between <coughs> only these two physical quantities speed and time that graph is called speed time graph i have written short form speed for s t for time g for graph speed time graph you can write full form of this uh, this word speed time graph <coughs> so clearly you can also draw this uh, and i have also explained to you time is independent quantity so it always uh, taken on x axis and clearly speed is dependent so it will be taken on vertical axis like y axis same thing look at the same thing what we have done in the in your previous uh, distance time graph only you have to change here speed now in notice in previous video you have written here d for distance now here you will write speed for v v for speed and also you have to label the graph as i have labeled first thing is you have to label the graph t for time unit of time seconds v for speed unit of speed meter per second now clearly you can take intervals like from 0 to 5 five seconds then next 5 plus 5 10 second then next 10 plus 5 15 and then 5 20 similarly speed on this vertical axis 2 meter per second 4 meter per second then add again to 6 meter per second again add to 8 meter per second in this way you can go on now I have drawn the graph for the object for the body which is moving with constant speed. Look at the body which is moving with constant speed. Suppose the uh, the speed of that body at four has become constant. So line is again a straight line parallel to time axis. So this shows that the body is moving with constant speed. Speed is not changing. You know the definition of constant speed. The constant speed in constant speed the body does not change its speed. so that's why the line will be straight so this question will be asked to you draw the speed time graph for a constant speed so you have to draw this graph i have taken here uh, the speed at constant at 4 you can also take speed at 2 you can also take speed at 6 wherever you like you can draw the straight line the line should be straight parallel to horizontal axis parallel to time axis that line shows the constant speed Okay now second question you will be asked second question draw the speed time graph for the object moving with uniformly changing speed notice on the previous lecture uniformly uh, distance time graph now here uniformly speed time graph so clearly we have to take time on uh, x axis and speed on y axis same graph same value i have taken here now as the body is changing uh uniform speed moving with uniformly changing speed so it mean according to the time interval equal change in velocity e in equal interval of time mean uh in 5 seconds it covers it moves with 2 meter per second speed and then in next 5 seconds it moves with 4 meter per second speed and then in 15 second it moves with a uh, speed of 6 meter per second so notice down there is uniformity uniform interval uniform change is there so when you plot this point i have plotted the point like here 4 uh, for speed 4 and time 10 this is the point for speed 6 time 15 second this point is here for speed 8 meter per second time is 20 seconds and this point is here i have drawn this line this line is a straight line passing through the origin this line straight line passing through the origin shows that the 
body is moving with uniform speed. So this line shows the uniform speed. So this uh, uniform speed line also known as uniform acceleration. Notice down why I have written bracket uniform acceleration. You know the definition of uniform acceleration. In uniform acceleration, the bodies, uh, the change in velocity occurs in equal interval of time. So what this graph is showing to us, change in speed or change in velocity is occurring in equal intervals of time. That's why we can also say that this graph is also for uniform acceleration. So if you if you are asked the question, draw the graph for uniform acceleration, your graph will be the same. Okay, I think the concept is clear to you here. Next important topic which I, I have to explain to you that is how we can find the distance from the speed time graph. How we, how we can find, I will write the question. How can we find the distance from speed time graph from speed time graph so this is the question and you have to keep one thing in mind that whenever you have to find the distance from the speed time graph always find the area under the curve always find the area under that curve you will find the distance from that speed time graph i repeat this again if you have to find the distance from the speed time graph what you have to do find the area under that curve find the area under that curve or under area under that graph that will give you the distance of the body now suppose if i want to find the distance of this object if i want to find a distance of this object i can find the area under this what is this figure becomes look at if the body we have studied the uh, speed till 8 and time for 20 what this figure come what this figure shows to us I think clearly this is a triangle if I write the name O A and B so notice down this is the triangle now if you find the area of this triangle under this curve this is a curve or this graph this is the area under this triangle if you find the area of this triangle you will find uh, how much distance that body has covered so how you find the area of this triangle I think you know the formula to find the area of triangle area of triangle I will write a symbol of triangle O A B uh, 1 by 2 base into height I think you know the formula to find the area of triangle area of triangle is always find by 1 by 2 half base this is the base and is the height perpendicular distance if I put the value I will find the area so 1 by 2 comes as it is can you tell me what is the base this is the baseline 0 to 20 it means I will put in place of base 20 from the graph and what is the height from the graph this is the height perpendicular distance is the height 0 to 8 means 8 so I will put here 8 and now I can simplify to cancel this 20 with 10 10 into 8 80 so what will be the unit meter so it means 80 meter that body has covered the distance so in this way you can find the distance from the speed time graph i think the concept should be clear to you now how you can find the area uh, how you can find the distance from the speed time graph and notice down if you find the area under speed time graph that will give you the distance I have found a distance that is the 80 meter okay students one example that is 2.9 I will explain to you and uh, other example uh, I will uh, you have to solve by yourself if you find any difficulty you can ask me that's all for today.